Go back. Okay, welcome back. Hope you've got your cup of tea and uh, I'll carry on. So we'll, we'll head towards one o'clock. I'm going to try and get most of it done in the next hour. So, uh, um, yeah, let's, let's do this. So we're going to um, start working on the building of St Paul's and um, this is going to be where it's the darkest so I'm just going to put that in first uh, it's darkest and in shadow I'm just referring to my sketch that I made the other day because I don't want the right to fall into these bits but they are very nice when we put them in I'm just moving down to a smaller brush In the marks way, just a suggestion of a building there. I like that, I think that works a treat. I'm enjoying this shadow tone, so I'm going to put in a bit more work here. You might think this is quite dark, or it is quite dark at the moment, but as soon as I put that light in, it will just sing. Okay. Just a tad more information there, and then 
So now I'm just going to add a little bit of um, gold. So I'm mixing a little bit of gold and uh, white. I want this face to be quite bright. So just adding surface of the building at the moment. Let's get a These are kind of, um, if I'm honest, the boring bits. It's just um, they need to be there. But they're all going to be sitting back and in the distance. So. Coming on. Okay, so, uh, 
I'm going to put in the uh, lip of greenery. There's a row of trees all here. So I, when, I, when I do a painting, I build it up from the back, moving forward. Um, in reality, then um, things become a little bit more defined, a little bit more detailed. Um, right. So, so I'm just mixing a bit of yellow and blue that I've already got. A bit of red. Oh, too much red. Oh. Okay. So I'm going to go to using this bucket to mix the colour and trees back here. Again, I can work on that later. It's just getting the paint now. While I've got the, the dark green I might as well do the uh, big trees here. You can see that. Sorry about that. Okay. So I'm just putting on the, the tree. These random brush marks are just working the tree. around and go off into the distance there and be a pathway here and, and that will be a tree in the distance.
got to be careful with trees because you know, that's all around the way. Try and make them perfect. They just look like oh, that looks okay. And then I'll do the same this way to complete the, the composition. To uh, put this bus here on the, on the right, there's lots of things, lots of ways of doing this. Loose um, and in forward motion and everything, but not sure it's going to make too much sense over here doing that. But um, so what I'm going to do is just literally got red on my brush and then use this motion. I'm heading towards the vanishing point. As long as I follow the rules of perspective, should be alright. And I'm hoping it's going to look like it's moving. Just 
all I need to do is uh, just paint over there. I'll come back to this, I'll tidy it up later, but as you go along with the painting, you really are analysing. You can't worry about, um, you know, if, um, if it's slightly out of it. That's better. Yeah, much better. So I'm kind of just working it out as I go. Not spending too much time. Filling in the gaps and things. So I'm just adding a little bit of um, copper to the to the palette. I love these warm. Metallics and they like a treat for painters like this. Basically, at the moment, um, 
I'm not saying a lot because it's quite tricky. Right. 
So there's going to be a strong shadow from the tree. Okay, we can look at that and I can see that I'm a little bit off on this part here, so that needs to come further that way. So it's no problem. As long as you follow the rules, you're fine. That's better. Loosen this up a little bit. Like I said, it's not going to be just a suggestion of something there really, because it's moving so quick. Just a few, few miles. Silver on my pipe, I'm just going to have a little bit of random marks here, it's just stuff going off in the background there.
just add in a little bit of white to start with. Just creating a bit more movement. Using a few scrapers now, just to just starting to refine a few areas. So we're just using a um, metallic bond at the moment. So I've basically got the whole of the thing covered on. It's it's literally time to add the light, um, which is obviously the really fun bit. And um, so I'm going to start at the top and then work down the canvas. Um, I'll I'll put the light on very quickly because. Um, not to get too fiddly with putting the light on, it's very easy just to focus on a little area at a time. Um, so I've got into a small one again. It's, it's going to be a good time to add, add the light and a bit more detail. I'm adding the light to the top of some balls. This is when the painting starts to come together. All the hard work is done really. Um, it's now refining. Now in the light. So where I put the light is where I think um, if there was, if there was lights in the streets, um, and um, so in St. Paul, or around St. Paul, there's some lights here, I'll put that in, and they reflect up to the, um, this face of the, of the dome, so everything that faces that, those lights, is 
going to be this one. So, you can see how quickly it makes a difference. Keeping the brush marks very loose still, and I want to, this is, you know, an impressionistic piece, so uh, I don't want to make it too refined. Top working down, so I'll go down into these marches here really nicely. Thank you. Painting comes to life when you start putting the light on. So if you blend just a little bit. So I'm using a dry brush and just going around the in circles and it just creates that spread of light. So I'm just working from the top down to the bottom. As I go, just refining, putting the light on.
so some of these trees will be lit up from the light. So let's see if I can find a suitable colour. So the light, the trees closest to this light source will be just lit up. Like so. And we'll have this one as well, just lit up. And maybe down the street there, just rotate the brush. Let the brush dance on the canvas. Right, I do need to uh, stop the, uh, I'm almost out of time again, so uh, what I'll do is um, uh, restart the, the live in about 10 minutes, so we'll take a break and I'll be back in 10 minutes and I'll, I'll carry on. Thanks so much. Come and check again soon. Cheers.